A malevolent energy descended upon that life spring. Never in all my years of planetological research have I ever seen such a disturbing phenomenon. You, however, appeared unfazed by what you witnessed. Yeah. <laughs> you needn't explain, Nanaki. Indeed, it may be best that you do not. The experiences of others may skew our own perception of the truth. For the time being, quiet observation is key to unraveling this mystery. In the grand scheme of both the planet and the life stream, the lives of us mortals and the sublunary parts we play are undeniably inconsequential. For our world is the accumulation of trillions of souls, an assemblage of all life that ever was and will ever be. But that is far too reductive a way to view the cycle which sustains us. We are, after all, a part of the planet, and the planet is a part of us, too. We mustn't forget that even the smallest of ripples can gather the strength to become the greatest of waves. It is thus incumbent upon us to do all we can in the time we are allotted. Do not die a ripple. I endeavor to do just that. I will continue to work to uncover the planet's secrets. And if I find anything, I will let you know. All right, just try not to overdo it. For me? <laughs> oh! Now, who could this be? Why, it's from a watchman in town. How odd. Oh, what did you say? Is something wrong? I fear there is. The survey team has returned with reports of sightings of key spirits within the Vale. But they were sealed within the cave. Indeed they were. I can attest to that. So how did they get out? Well, these are spirits, Nanaki. Who knows what they can or cannot do? Though I know this is sudden, will you lend us your aid? <laughs> Go and speak to the watchman at the gate. I will return to the Vale on my own. We just got word from the survey team that they spotted the Gi right outside of town. Yeah, I heard. Are they okay? They weren't attacked, were they? Don't worry. Everybody's fine. Happened to be near the elevator, so they were able to escape in time. Though they had to leave their truck behind, unfortunately. Okay, I'll go take a look. We can't let more into the veil. Appreciate it. Just, uh, be careful out there. Seto, I'm... Fools of wretch. You think we shall be fooled again? Undying is our enmity. Here we shall have our revenge. Get him! Get him! 
You're done. I'll handle it.
Seto, I'm his son, Nanaki. There's a lot of things I don't know yet, but I want to learn. Can you teach me about my father? Uh, about you? Your father. I see. As you wish, son of Seto. What would you like to know? Seto ventured deep into the caverns below your home that day. Alone. That he might persuade us to cease our ingress. Though we had braced ourselves for battle, we found ourselves captivated by his resplendent mane. He was a beautiful creature, in both body and soul. So swayed were we by his courage and sincerity, but we chose to entrust with him our singular desire. We desire the return of our black materia, and deliverance from this purgatory. We believed Seto to be a man of his word, yet his betrayal proved otherwise. Our hopes placed in him, only to be trampled upon. We were forsaken, overcome with rage. One by one, our arrows found their mark. Yet Seto was unfazed by our assault. As a confidant, our secrets he would keep. As a penitent, our vengeance he would accept. Yet Seto would not forsake his duty to keep us from the Vale. He was resolute, his will adamantine. And with every arrow that struck, 
His body hardened to match his resolve before our very eyes, unmoving in the face of our relentless onslaught. It was not long until we lost heart, conceding the futility of our plight, and sank back into the dark depths whence we came. Yet the darkness granted us no comfort, and certainly not the oblivion for which we so desperately yearn. I... I know this might sound hard to believe, but I want to finish what my father started. I want to fulfill his promise to you. Is that so? And even if you don't trust me, Gina Talk does. He asked me to get back your materia. Like I told him, I'll do everything I can to make sure you can rest in peace. All I ask is that you wait in your cave until I return. And if we comply, you will keep your word. It might take some time, but I'll do it. Very well. Finally. At long last. And thus, the promise has been made. See that it is not broken, son of Seto. You sure about this? They're gonna hold you to it. And I hope they do. Dad understood the Gi's suffering, but he also understood others would suffer if the Gi ever got the materia back. He was willing to bear that pain for them, even if it turned him to stone, if it meant that he could spare others from their wrath. We just have to find that black materia, and we have to make sure that no one gets their hands on it, not the Gi or anyone else. But I do want to keep my promise. I'm gonna find a way to release them from their suffering. There's got to be an answer out there somewhere. And I'm not going to stop searching until I find it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Spoken like a true watcher. You heard all that? Our hopes and our dreams give us strength. Remember that. Hold tight to yours and see that you never let them go. In time, they shall lead you to the answer you seek. Go! 
that you've got a choice, but thank you for choosing Bronco Airlines. Sit, my friend. You couldn't you give us a lift to Nibelheim, could you? A little far. But not too far, I reckon. The old girl should be more than up to the challenge. Visionary tactics. <laughs> okay, you know what to do. Hey, <laughs> I bet you couldn't guess who's got it, even if you tried.
game. So we, we didn't steal nothing this time, I swear. We well, I'm trying to be nice. You know what I think? But the scumbag. We'll fall back. <laughs> Don't say I didn't try to keep it peaceful. <laughs> you guys met with the wrong legitimate yeah. businessman. Let's do <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I am presently detained in uh, the privy. Right. Yeah. We have to find it. And soon. 